This edition of PewterPirates.com brought to you by House of Brews Tavern and Grill. More than beer, House of Brews gives you great food and always great fun. And speaking of food and fun, we'd like to thank our co-title sponsor, Sea Dog Brewing Company. It's Clearwater location and it's Treasure Island Brewery by the Beach. Boasts the exclusive combo of giving its patrons a New England brewery complimented by a golf-inspired menu. Oh, we appreciate you logging on to pewterparis.com, and boy, do we appreciate our title sponsors, House of Brews and Sea Dog Brewing Company. Well, a lot has happened since the Buccos last loss against the Atlanta Falcons, but guess who's coming up on the schedule? Yeah, this guy, the Heisman Trophy winner, Browns rookie quarterback Baker Mayfield. The Brownies up on the schedule next. Let's preview this game, and here is your menu. Of course, Mike Smith is out. Mark Duffner is in. We'll talk to the brand new Bucks D coordinator. What's the reaction from the players? We'll have that as well. Maybe a boost could lie in Kendall Beckwith returning to this football team. We'll talk to the injured Buccaneer linebacker and we'll preview our rookie diary with MJ Stewart. I'm Mike Neighbors here at One Buck Place. It's the Brownies. It's the Bucks. Your preview next on PewterPirates.com. Yeah, we appreciate you logging on to pewterpirates.com. It's another video preview of the Bucks game, this time around it's the Cleveland Browns. Well, the big news here at One Buck Place, of course, defensive coordinator Mike Smith fired. The new man is the most experienced coach on this team. That would be new defensive coordinator Mark Duffner. He's coached for so long, he was actually an assistant for the great Woody Hayes back in the day. He's been a head coach with Holy Cross and Maryland. But I had to ask Duffner, with this defense having so many struggles so far, how is he going to help them moving forward? Our challenge is to get better, and every single day we're trying to get better, whether it be this week or this uh, today on Wednesday or tomorrow on Thursday, each and every day we're trying to get better. Mark, in your assessment of, of the problems with the defense, and this goes back to last year, maybe even three years, um, communication has always been brought up, but that's been something that's been talked about for three seasons. What, what do you see as, as the biggest adjustments that this team has to make as being more aggressive? Well, I, I really don't want to share too much. You know, I know this. I want you to know that we're uh, very engaged in making things better in terms of the execution of our defense. And uh, you know, I don't want to give the, anybody any uh, competitive advantage by saying too much relative to anything other than that. But uh, nothing has changed in terms of the focus and the energy that we've got in trying to develop this team to be as productive as it can be on defense. Mark Duffner certainly has his work cut out because, let's face it, this Buccaneer defense has been awful so far. So far this season, they've allowed the second most yards of any team in the NFL behind Kansas City. They've allowed the most points per game. But to really put the numbers into perspective, you remember that Baltimore defense back in 2000 that won a Super Bowl, one of the best of all time? Well, the Bucs so far have given up more points than that defense gave up the entire year. And if you ask the players on this Bucs D, they know they got to get better and soon. The fact that, you know, my offense playing well, defense out there. Well, but we know, you know it's football, man. You don't know how it's going to go. All you can do is take care of yourself and take care of your responsibilities and everything will play out for itself. I think if you just do your job, like Coach always saying, do your job, do your job, do your job. Sometimes I find myself trying to do other people's job, too, as a veteran, too. But, you know, just, like I say, just do your job and everything will take care of itself. So that Buccaneer defense is poised for a comeback. Coming up next in our preview of the Bucks and the Browns, we'll have a possible key addition to that Bucks defense. Plus, the Bucks D talks about how they're going to take care of this guy. Yeah, Baker Mayfield, the quarterback of Cleveland. All that as our preview continues after this. There are a lot of neighborhood bars, but there is only one. How so? It's now better than ever. Freshly remodeled with a new U-shaped bar where it's clear everybody's having fun at the House of Brews. Armed with the full liquor and wine selection, House of Brews houses a large selection of brews. But come on, this place is more than brews. The food takes it to a whole different level. A fresh daily scratch menu serves up a wide variety of favorites, leaving customers always satisfied at the House of Brews. Not your average neighborhood bar. Oh, it's so much more.
Welcome back to our preview of Bucks Browns here on PewterPirates.com. We chronicled the new Bucks defensive coordinator, the same old struggles for this group, but they could have help on the way. How about last year's starter as a rookie, linebacker Kendall Beckwith? Of course, he injured his ankle in an automobile accident back in April, missed all of training camp, has missed every game this season so far, but he's poised to return possibly any week now. We asked Beckwith when that return could be and how frustrating it's been to sit out. The hardest part for me is just watching, just being on the side. You know, I'm, I'm such a competitor. You know, I, I'd rather be out there fighting with y'all. I'd rather be out there, you know, winning or losing with y'all. So, I mean, that's that's like the, the toughest part, you know, you're just on the side and you really can't do anything to help. How optimistic are you that you can get back on your timetable that you set for yourself? Oh, I'm pretty optimistic. Um, I've definitely um, seen the progression um, in my in my uh, injury and uh, so. So we shall wait and see on the return of Kendall Beckwith. No doubt this Bucks D definitely could use him. Well, the Bucks defense could have another break, possibly in Raymond James Stadium on Sunday. Ah, how about a young quarterback, a rookie quarterback in Baker Mayfield? Now I asked Jason Pierre Paul about facing this guy, and it seems like he's ready for the task. Can I get your thoughts on Baker Mayfield, your impressions of him? So he's a rookie quarterback, man. You know, I love it. So, you know, uh, <laughs> rookie quarterback and, you know, uh, congrats to them and, and being in the NFL. And, you know, I'll be chasing him out there, chasing him this Sunday. Sounds you know? like you're excited about that when you say rookie quarterback. Yeah, you know, that's what he is, right, guys? Yeah. Right, that's what he is. He's a rookie quarterback. But he's been playing well. Uh, but other than that, man, I don't really, I don't really care about it. You know, I'm just, like I said, do my assignment, do my job, and hopefully everything will take care of itself, and I'm pretty sure every guy here is on the side. Oh, JPP may be licking his chops with the Rook. Baker Mayfield coming into Tampa on Sunday. Well, we're not done. One more block left. We're going to preview our rookie diary with MJ Stewart and our upcoming podcast, PeterPowers.com's preview of Bucks Browns, continues after this. Now, you want a drinking and dining experience like no other in Tampa Bay? Well, Sea Dog Brewing Company is the place for you. Its Treasure Island location gives its patrons a beautiful waterfront view with six brand new boat slips and more to come. This Sea Dog location has a great selection with local brews all made in clear water and all oh, the specials. You have daily happy hour Monday through Friday from 2 to 6. Mug Club Monday features $6 mules. Taco Tuesdays are always popular, but don't pass up the $9.99 Fish Fry Thursdays. And on the weekends, enjoy a Sea Dog Brewery Sunday brunch by the beach. So check out Sea Dog Brewery at Treasure Island, 9610 Gulf Boulevard, Treasure Island, Florida, 727-954-7805. Welcome back to our final segment here on PewterPirates.com's preview of Bucks against the Cleveland Browns. Well, one player on this Buccaneer roster we've gotten to know maybe better than anybody is rookie cornerback MJ Stewart. Yeah, the rook, the second-year pick out of North Carolina, has really had to learn under fire. Had his tough moments so far in this very young season for the Bucks. We caught up to him on a number of subjects in a diary we will release later this week. But let's give you a portion of that rookie diary where we asked MJ Stewart how did it feel to lose the only defensive coordinator he's ever played for? Coach Smith was a great coach, you know, but it's kind of like the like the injury thing, you know, it's always next man up. So, you know, we still have our team goals, we still have our team objectives, and our objectives it, it our objectives are to win, you know. So, you know, with Coach Duff, we have you know full confidence in him, and we're gonna get the job done. The thoughts of rookie cornerback MJ Stewart. For more of his diary, keep it logged on to pewterpirates.com the rest of the week. And for also another coming attraction, how about our podcast, A Few Extra Bucks with myself and our Bucks insider Roy Cummings, a few extra takes on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'd like to thank our title sponsors, House of Brews and Sea Dog Brewing Company, and our friends at Forever Collectibles for the Baker Mayfield edition to this week's Bucks Browns preview. Until next time, I'm Mike Neighbors. We'll see you again down the road.